Our hem is number 321. Number 321. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Upon this day, Teresa's soul, like gentle dove no more to roam, found peace within the mansion blessed of our eternal Father's home. At last she heard the bridegroom's voice, My loved one come from Carmel's high, the spotless lamb awaits his bride. Receive your crown in glory's light. O Jesus, spouse of virgin pure, the happy ranks your praises sing forever with that melody. Known but to virgins and their king. Amen. Blessed are they who have been invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in His ways. By the labor of your hands you shall be. You will be happy and prosper. Your wife <clears throat> like a fruitful vine. In the heart of your house, your children like shoots of the olive around your table. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. May you see your children's children in a happy Jerusalem. On Israel, peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are they who have been invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Put in your sickle 
for the harvest of the earth is fully ripe. They have pressed me hard from my youth. This is Israel's song. They have pressed me hard from my youth, but could never destroy me. They plow my back like love and dry love for But the Lord who is just has destroyed the yoke of the wicked. Let them be shamed and routed, those who hate Zion. Let them be like grass on the roof that withers before it flowers. With them reaper fills his arms, no binder makes his sheaves. And those passing by will not say, I knew the Lord's blessing. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Put in your sickle, for the harvest of the earth is fully ripe. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world? Hear this, all you peoples, give heed all who dwell in the world. Men both Lord and I, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom, my heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to the parable, with the harp I will solve my problem. Why should I fear an evil day, the malice of the foes who surround me? Men who trust in their wealth, and boast of the vastness of their riches. For no man can buy his own ransom, or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He cannot buy life without end, nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fools must both perish and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling place from age to age, though their names spread wide through the land. In his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their back and call. Like sheep they are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd, and the just shall become their rulers. With the morning their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from them, and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies, his glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself while he lived, Men will praise me for all my success. Yet he will go to join his fathers, who will never see the light anymore. In his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world? 
You redeemed us by your blood, O Lord. You made of us a kingdom. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood he purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, Honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You were us by your blood, O Lord, you made of us a kingdom. Letter to the Colossians. Christ's peace must reign in your hearts, since as members of the one body you have been called to that peace. Dedicate yourselves to thankfulness. Let the word of Christ, rich as it is, dwell in you. In wisdom made perfect, instruct and admonish one another. Sing gratefully to God from your hearts in psalms, hymns, and inspired songs. Whatever you do, whether in speech or in action, do it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give thanks to God the Father through Him. Come to the help of his servant Israel, 
for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Santissima Christi Sponsa Dilexio Suo Iugiter Let us praise Christ who gives power and strength to his people, and let us entreat him with sincere hearts. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christ our strength, you called your faithful ones to your truth. Mercifully grant them faith and perseverance. Direct our leaders according to your will, and help them to keep us in peace. You provided bread for the hungry crowd. Teach us to share our resources with the needy. Do not direct world leaders to give attention only to the needs of their own nation, but give them above all a respect and a deep concern for all people. Pray for the upcoming summit weekend. For all of our benefactors and safe travel for everyone coming in for the event, for our staff for their, and students that won't be calm and joyful during the event. We pray for the visit of Father John Michael Paul would be filled with grace for our community. Pray for the general chapter coming up and for the work of the Finitor. Pray for Father Francesco, for all those who've asked for our prayers, especially the sick. For Scott, for Anna. Pray for Sister Maria Teresa. For Teresa, Maria. Grant blessed life and resurrection to our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. And may all those who have believed in you share in your glory. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O God, who through your Spirit raised up St. Teresa of Jesus to show the Church the way to seek perfection, grant that we may always be nourished by the food of her heavenly teaching and fired with longing for true holiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen.
the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. Morality of October 16th. Memorial of St. Margaret Bernalico, Virgin. At 24, she entered the Visitation Convent of Pari Limonial, where she was later favored with visions. She received the mission to propagate the cult of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, wounded in his love by the ingratitude of men. She slept in the Lord in 1690. In Poland, the year of grace, 1243, the return to God of St. Hedwig, married at 12 to the Duke of Silesia, with whom she established an exemplary Christian home. She devoted herself to works of mercy. She also founded two hospitals. Upon the death of her husband, St. Hedwig retired to the Cistercian Monastery of Trebinitz, where she had founded and which was then being governed by her daughter Gertrude. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life. 